Hey everyone, I hope you've been following me along on this epic road trip that I went on recently. This is part three of my road trip. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Grand Tetons in Wyoming. Oh my gosh. I can't even describe how beautiful that area is. And I'm so glad I filmed it because <laughs> pictures are worth a, th um, a thousand words and a video is worth a thousand pictures. So please enjoy. After spending the night uh, along the side of the road where I watched the sunset, um, I drove into the Grand Teton area and I was just blown away by the beauty of that place. So wildflowers everywhere. The spectacular mountains just jutting out of the ground there. Oh, I just couldn't get over it. Everywhere I looked, it was beautiful beyond compare. I decided to hike Cascade Canyon the first day that I was in the Grand Tetons and I can pretty confidently say that's the prettiest hike I've ever been on in my life. It's It went around this beautiful lake up into this canyon and it just, I can't, I just can't believe that a place like that exists. So please watch and see for yourself the beauty, the astounding beauty of that place.
Can you believe this hike? It's the prettiest hike I think I've ever been on my whole life. <sighs> I um, walked around Jenny Lake and then I went up Cascade Canyon. Oh, it's just the prettiest thing in the whole world. I'm so happy. Hikes make me so happy. Oh, the, the Grand Tetons are super, super pretty. Ridiculously beautiful. And because I started this hike a little late, I basically am here all by myself. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> It was so amazing to be able to see the amount of wildlife that I saw while I was in the Grand Tetons. I saw um, um, two moose, one female, one male, and the male I saw pretty up close. I saw some marmots, um, a mommy and a baby marmot that was particularly cute. I saw a little mouse that I think might be called a pika mouse, and I also saw a buffalo. It was, it was pretty incredible. I stayed the night um, at a campground just outside the park and it was amazing. It was so close to the park and I had this great campsite. I was able to cook some food for myself and just relax a little bit instead of having to worry about finding a place to sleep. By the way, if you would like to know more about how I um, sleep in my car and go on long road trips while sleeping every night in my car, I have a video about that that I'll insert into the description box below. So please check that out if you would like to know how I save a whole bunch of money on long road trips. The next morning I got up super early and I hiked Garnett Canyon, which was another beautiful hike, a lot harder than Cascade Canyon, a lot of switchbacks. Um, and I also ended up going to this beautiful lake called Delta Lake that's not even really um, super like a, like a very well-maintained trail but a lot of people kind of hear about it through word of mouth. Oh my gosh that lake was so pretty, so pretty, so worth the hike. So I ended the day after a really two days of hiking, probably more than 10 miles each day. I ended my, my time at the Grand Tetons by going to this restaurant with beautiful rooftop views of the mountains and I had um, artichoke dip with pita chips and drank lemonade and just sat there and thought this might be one of the best couple days of my life. I'm so glad I decided to go on this epic road trip and that I went alone, just me, um, just going, just going and having the time of my life. Yeah, it's basically 
thanks so much for watching this video. Um, the next video is gonna be about the end of my road trip, finally turning west again. What a trip. So please stay tuned if you want to see any clips of what Yellowstone was like or what it was like to meet a dear friend of mine in Idaho. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.